My name is Renee Elmers. I represent the second district of North Carolina, Congressman Holtgren, and I have co are, we are co-hosting this this special um, hearing and hearing and investigation into this, and we want to talk to you about it. Planned Parenthood is the nation's largest abortion provider, which receives more than a million dollars a day of taxpayer funds. The issue today is should American taxpayer dollars be, be going to pay for abortion? Overwhelmingly, we've heard from the American people that they don't want to see their funds going that way, regardless of how you feel about that particular issue. The money can be much better spent elsewhere, especially today at this time here in Washington when we are having so many issues that we are dealing with, with trying to grapple with the debt that we have created, the spending problem that we have, and we're talking about again taxpayer funds going for this act and we feel very strongly that it's time to put an end to it so that taxpayer dollars can go to more effective programs you will hear from a number of my colleagues who are here today as well as from Americans United for Life president and CEO Dr. Charmaine Yost whose organization produced this groundbreaking report the report details some very troubling news of systemic financial irregularities within Planned Parenthood and which I believe lays the foundation for further inquiry. Now I just want to tell you a little bit about how we're going to do this event today. Please, if you can, hold your questions until the end after each of the speakers here today have spoken. I will introduce the speakers and then we will have a Q&A time. And I will ask the reporters to please identify yourself, your name, and the organization that you are with. Dr. Yost is going to be explaining some of the different specifics in this troubling investigation that, that has been unveiled. And I just want to point out a few that, I, that jumped out at me. Planned pl Parenthood plays games with numbers in terms of time, money, and unduplicated clients. Abortion means far more to Planned Parenthood than the 3% services which they have claimed in the past is the percentage that, of abortions that they do. Planned Parenthood documents acknowledge that, it is, that the providing of abortion services is actually 12% of the patients that they see and along the lines again of the federal funding. Planned Parenthood's 2008-2009 annual report states it received $363 million in federal and state government grants and contracts for more, but it has doubled since 1998. That number has doubled. As government funding of Planned Parenthood has doubled, Planned Parenthood has doubled its abortions. So you see the dollars and the numbers line up. I just want to take a moment right now to introduce Congressman Hultgren, who has a few words to say as well.